Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekers YouTube channel. Today we're at Salt Springs Boat Ramp near Lake George in the Ocala National Forest near Ocala, Florida. And the plan for today is we've got the jet skis launched. We're going to head on down this little river here. We're going to go out to Lake George. We're going to go check out the St. Johns River. We're going to go check out uh, Silver Glen Springs. It's going to be a whole lot of fun, so make sure you stick around and check it out. Let's go. First thing I would say is this is the boat launch here for Salt Springs boat ramp. Uh, it's just a little tiny boat ramp. They got two slips here. They got a couple little docks, uh, but they also have plenty of beach area here where you can beach your jet skis or your boats or whatever. It's right here at the spring head for Salt Springs. So you see there's tons of boats hanging out already. Uh, parking is a bit limited. It's all kind of like parking in the woods. Uh, I parked way down there because we got here about 11 o'clock. So parking is $10 per vehicle and there's no fee to launch. All right guys, so there is the boat ramp. Looks like you were able to park your boat here and hang out and chill and kind of do boat things. And um, then I see over here, I think this might be like a non-motorized launch, like kayaks, uh, paddle boards, things like that. But we are going to head on out that way and uh, yeah, see what we can see. So um, Lewis didn't give me a ton of explanation as to why we wanted to come here. So I don't know if there's something specific he wants to check out, uh, but all in all, it should be a good time. So let's go. So I finally see the end of this no wake zone. It's coming up right up there. Be resuming normal safe operation in just a minute. It's a long way up there for sure. We're about to take off here in just a minute. I am, I because I know as soon as you hit that sign, you're gonna rock it out of here. Well, sorry. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Like, killing you going slow, isn't it? It's like, you're 
ready to make yourself more aerodynamic? Is that what we're doing? Alright, watch watch where you're going though, bro. You're gonna roll too close. Is, like is it? Yeah, kinda. Okay. What's that? Uh <laughs> Alright guys, so we are very close to being able to get out to the lake. H honey, what, what's the name of the lake that's here? Lake George. Lake George. Alright, so we're like seconds away from Lake George. Uh, what's interesting is it's just a very small like inlet area and if you're not paying attention, you might miss it. So, be careful. It doesn't look like it's very deep either. That boat just came in, so I think we're probably going to be okay. Alright, so it's pretty funny. That sign still says slow speed, minimum wake, so we're going to be a little slower, but not I think Lewis is still ready to like lose his mind. He hates going slow. Alright guys, we made it out to the lake. Uh, we checked the weather, it wasn't supposed to rain, so uh, we'll see how that works out for us. This lake looks pretty big, so yeah, we're gonna get it going here any second. We're almost there. I think Lewis might uh, take a hostage if we don't get some, uh, get some wind going here in a second. Bless him. Sam, but I can't even make it out of the wake zone before he's out and uh, tearing it up. So that is the slow speed minimum wake zone sign here. It's going to take us down this little, um, I guess it's a river because it's a spring at the end of it. Uh, but you can see here I used, used about two bars of gas from the boat ramp to get here. Now granted I was kind of hot dogging it quite a bit. We had it fully pegged pretty much the entire way. Had it up to about 55. Um, yeah, you know, obviously I got a full tank of gas, so it's like, it's about right for these skis. I, most I've ever seen is about 58 on, on my uh, C-D 170. But yeah, pretty surprised too. Christine kept up, nice flat day out here. Uh, I mean, obviously hers is a little bit slower being the 130, but she was not far behind me, not as far as she usually is. So that was cool. And we just had a little bit of rain on the way there. Just kind of blasted through it. <laughs> it was stinging my face is when we went through, but um, just get through it as quick as possible because come out the other side, Beautiful and clear again. Now we're going to go check out these springs. All right, guys, so here we are. We made it to Silver Glen Springs. Super excited to be here. Uh, I guess we can't anchor, we can't use metal detectors, we can't snore, we can't move anything, and we can't scuba. So. getting on back here it's definitely beautiful you can see water's getting much more clear I mean water was gorgeous out there on the lake too but it's kind of more like a brown from I don't know I guess runoff from the trees or whatever but this is definitely clear spring water you see all the way down the bottom it's not very deep maybe six to eight feet right here they got an aquatic wildlife management area we got separated there plenty of boats out here though it's crazy busy I've seen a couple um, airboats too those are always cool with the big v8s and the fans on the back pretty neat. I don't think I'd want to own them, but they're cool to see. They make the right sounds, the right smells, the right noises. They're fun. All right, but we're going to pull on up in here, find a place to park and see how close we can get to the spring head. Uh, all right, well, this just in. <clears throat> Talk about a packed house. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's get through it and see how things look on the other side. All right, guys, I think we're almost towards the end of it, but let me tell you, there's like a zillion boats out here. And you're really going to take to because there are a lot of kids. Yeah, we definitely don't want to run anybody over. Or into anybody. That would be really good. Alright guys, I have to laugh. We've been here 
I'm calling it 30 seconds, but of course, this is making some friends, which is really awesome. So good for him. I love that. Anywhere we go, he always makes a friend. So, sweet. All right, well, as you can see, it's quite the party out here. Everybody's drinking, listening to loud music, just having fun. And so, Christina's loving, loving it. So, if this is not your vibe. Not like, my vibe. maybe it's not everyone's vibe. <laughs> they seem to be enjoying it. All right. We're gonna wait till the music dies down. We're gonna give you a quick overview. So we got our jet skis tied off. We got our little floaty float. Everything's on our sand anchor. Oh yeah, this log, man. I tell you what, it looks just like an alligator. I hopped off the off the jet ski, and as soon as I hit the water, I saw that. I about jumped right back on that thing. Eh? I was ready to get out of here. Panic on your face. Oh yeah. It was like panic, and then realization, and then calm all at the same time. It was hilarious. We got the other one tied off over here. Tons of people all around, people kayaking and whatnot. I'll tell you what, the water is a cool, crisp, what do you think, 72? Feels like 72. It's usually what the springs are. Yeah, um, it is, it's fairly cold, but good thing it's a hot day, so it feels good actually. It's uh, 84 degrees, so I feel like it's hotter. 84, yeah, the high today is like 90. Uh, the spring head is right over there, so we're gonna go explore over there, show you that. Uh, you can drive here and you can hop in there there's a little swimming area there's no boats allowed in on that side and i think that's probably the best part of the spring head honestly and they got this cool little i don't know where exactly this goes but i see a lot of people going down there with the kayaks and stuff I see a bunch of logs down there too so i don't think we can really get too far with the jet skis but kind of a neat little area packed it's not even a holiday weekend this place is packed i can't even imagine like memorial day what this it's, place is like there's like nobody out on the lake there's yeah. nobody on the lake yeah Everybody's here and that lake is actually a pretty good size it's, yeah, too. It's huge, right? I was surprised by that. You could it was hard to see the other side actually. Right, 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 right. So you could definitely come out here on this lake and have a funny pretty good time just on your jet skis. So now we're leaving the boat area and we're entering the swim area. No boats over here, just rafts. People hanging out. Water's super clear. You can see all the way to the bottom. I had to swim a little bit to get over here. Most way I could walk, but it was about probably about six feet deep there in the middle. Over here you can see it's just about ankle deep as people walking on top of this little sandbar smell barbecue smell other stuff definitely smells like a party out here look at that water i mean it is gorgeous absolutely beautiful out here another gorgeous spot here in florida i believe it, I, I forgot my uh, goggles again it was beautiful. I'm up to about my chest here. You can see all the way down. All right, we're going in. Oh man, it's getting pretty deep right here. This is definitely the spring head. Well, I can feel a current coming out from it too. You got to swim against it. And it's so deep, I can't, even, I, I can't even touch right here. And just another couple feet, it really drops off. And this is exactly what you think of when you think of Florida. And this too. Lots of people. But anyways, I'm gonna go up this little boat ramp, see what's up here. I think there's some facilities. Check that area out. It looks like you can rent some kayaks here. Mostly just people hanging out. Beautiful little picnic area. Just look at the foliage out here. I mean, it's like we're we're out in the jungle. You know, it's old school kind of Florida. Following right now, I'm following this little path. Apparently, it's going to lead to the exit. I think they said they got some restrooms up here. We're going to go. See if we can find those real quick just to kind of get a shot of it. So not only can you come kayaking here, but you can also apparently do some nature trails. They got this Lake George Trail here, two miles round trip. I'd be kind of surprised if that lake is only two miles around. You know, the circumference it feels like is way bigger than that. So I don't think that that thing takes you all the way around. All right, so we made it to the top of the trail. Here is all the parking. They do have some Porta Johns back there. Those are look like your only restroom option over here they have some little changing huts those look like porta potties too but i think they're just changing there's no toilet in there and then they do have a little shop looks like they got some snacks in there as well so um 
kind of basic here but really what what do you need i mean the water is the main attraction so not a whole lot of options but at least it doesn't seem like you need to bring a cooler full of stuff you know if you bring lunch you'll probably be in pretty good shape if not it sounds like they got some snacks in there you can munch out on as well so anyways a lot of people out here it's a beautiful area the spring head was absolutely gorgeous really enjoy checking that out had some great lunch chilling out in my little floaty float now we're gonna get on our boaty boat and we're gonna be on our way way that one doesn't rhyme uh, so we're gonna get on out of here go back out to the lake see what we can find out there and we're gonna head north towards uh, st. John's River never been there before see how far we can make it up there before we run out of gas I think come on back and uh, I think we'll check out the other spring head right near the boat ramp the salt springs is right near the boat ramp where we launched so oh that's drifting away I didn't realize she cut the line on me she's ready to go yeah <laughs> let's go all right guys hopefully you can hear that's over everyone blasting their music but we are at the end of the spring about to head over to the lake uh, Lewis wants to head north and we're gonna check out the uh, St. John's River so uh, let's go So that was a nice little run up to St. John's. St. John's is beautiful. It is super like foresty out here. Definitely see why a couple people have houses out here. Totally worth it. Uh, fortunately, I just got down to four bars, so a little under half a tank. Gonna be safe and sorry. That last little quarter always seems to go faster than anything else. So we're gonna turn around, head back down south, head back over to Salt Springs. Then we're gonna check out the spring there a little bit before we get the jet skis out of the water. But that'll be it for us. So let's go. Don't really have 
have much of a choice. Let's see how far we can make it. I don't know, we'll figure it out if we run out. Okay guys, so we made it back to um, off the lake. Three and a half miles, alright. So uh, we made it back to, um, off the lake. We're back in like the spring area. Uh, it's about three and a half miles to the boat ramp. Uh, Lewis is out of almost out of gas and I have three bars left. So uh, yeah, so good times. So we're gonna see how this works out for us. Worst case scenario, I gotta tow Lewis back or I don't know. If he runs out of gas, he can stay with the ski. I can go back and get gas in the truck. I don't know, we'll have to figure it out. So um, yeah, it's the first time we've ever, one of us has ran out of gas. Honestly, I thought I would have ran out of gas before he did, but I guess that just goes to show you that I don't always you know, do crazy things. So okay. Alright, we're to come. Back there, actually, um, I didn't know it at the time, but uh, just because only my my ski cut out right before we entered the mouth of the river here, it, it like flat out stopped working, stopped running, stalled out. Um, I thought, oh my god, it's just because I'm running out of gas. I don't know. If, I was thinking maybe just the you know the way the way that uh, the angle of the ski was sitting at or what. But then we get in the river, and I'm telling Christine to catch up with me because I want to tell her that hey, I'm running out of gas. We kind of need some help, and she tells me that her ski cut out too, and she thinks that maybe she got something stuck in the impeller. I asked her if we need to get in the river and check it out. She said no, but um, you know, it's weird that both of our skis cut out of almost the same spot. I don't. There's a lot of chop coming in from the waves. I don't know, just because they're going so slow, maybe too much back pressure going back up the exhaust or what. Very strange. And she offered to give me a tow if we need it, and I was kind of, I was, honestly, I thought it was going to be further. I wasn't sure if we're going to need to do that or what, but she got just a little bit more gas than I do. She doesn't keep it in, uh, didn't do any sport mode. That's what, that's what my downfall is, but I think we're going to be alright. We're right there. But from this point, I could probably swim there if I had to. Although, alligators. Alright, honey. How are you feeling now? You good? Make yeah. it? Yeah, okay. I was just a little nervous there, man. Yeah, no, you were, you were, you were a little nervous. Yeah, like anxiety with, you know, with the electric cars, you know? Yeah. Same sort of thing. You're, you're on a boat. Where are you going to get gas? Mm. Mm. So quiet. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I know you said you could tell me and rely on that good Samaritans. Maybe somebody else with a boat would tell me. Mm. Then you got to convince them, like, hey, keep it slow. Yeah, so you don't rip off the impeller. <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't back. Uh, fill through the you know, the engine. Mm. That's why you can only tow these things about six miles an hour. Mm. You can install like a bypass valve to stop that. Mm -hmm. That's something I've been thinking about doing. I don't know why they don't do it from the factory, honestly, or why it's not even an option. No. Okay. All right. Well, good news is we're here at the other spring head. Uh, this is going to give you guys a quick tour of that right now. All right, guys. So we've been on this like this spot for like 30 seconds, and we've already made a friend. I'm telling you, you can't go anywhere without making a friend. Talk to anybody. No one talks to me, which I'm okay with, but like, always, guaranteed makes a friend, every single time. So this is quaint. I like the little uh, palm tree island there. Looks like a nice little area. Water is kind of murky back here, but it's definitely very cold at the bottom too. So I think that's the thing with alligators, they don't like the cold water. We're gonna go walk in and check it out. This is Salt Springs, is what they call it. Is it? It doesn't taste salty. Well, maybe a little bit. This water's colder though. Yeah, than it's a little salty. Sometimes they name these things salt springs, like back in the day, just to keep people away. So like, oh, I don't want to go stake my claim on salt springs. But what do you think? You think it's salty? I don't think. It's weird how you can see the differentiation between the river water and then the spring water, like how clear that is, and how much. Colder, like the temperature just dropped another 10 degrees right here. I'm out 
<laughs> Alright, so we made it to the actual spring head. It's right over there, you can see the water kind of bubbling up. There's a bunch of rocks here though. <laughs> In between, it kind of drops off a little bit. It's cold. <laughs> it's freezing cold. <laughs> and more, the rocks are so slippery, I can, even with my water shoes, I can't stand on them. So, I'm gonna come over here and get a good look on the water at the spring head. Oh man. Oh man, it is deep. That is a cave for sure. Wow, so that, that is a super deep cave. Um, again, I forgot my goggles. I don't know why I keep doing this every time we go to the springs. I need to bring my goggles. So you guys probably got a better look at it than I did. Looks really deep. Uh, pretty neat though too. The water is definitely cold. Uh, it's, it's probably, it feels like it's probably about 20 feet deep down there, but I'm excited to check out the footage on, when we get home. Uh, we see a ton of fish right over here. We're gonna see if we can get a closer look. Hi guys, so here's your pro tips for jet skiing on Lake George. I'd say number one is definitely bring some goggles because these springs are insanely beautiful and you definitely want to be able to see them. Number two is if you're going to be hanging out at the springs, uh, bring an inflatable raft because what's better than chilling out in nice beautiful water like this? And pro tip number three is this lake is bigger than you think. Uh, and so it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to bring some extra gas. So that way you don't end up in a situation like we were. Uh, and if you want to see it all too, you know, St. John's River was beautiful. I'm glad we went up it. Um, probably could have done, could have not done that and saved some gas. So that's gonna do it for us today. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let us know in the comments below. Have you ever been to Lake George or to either of these spring heads? Love to hear about your trip. And with that being said, we're out of here. So we'll see you next weekend. What? You heard me say it, I'm not repeating it on camera. I'm not repeating what? Exactly. <laughs> Our level for brain has significantly decreased.